Now then, hi everyone, it's good to see you. I'm hoping this is what you were expecting, which is an update about what you can expect um, this weekend. Because uh, you'll have seen probably a week and a half ago, the Prime Minister announced um, that this weekend, uh, the 4th and 5th of July, was when things were going to be opening up. Um, so what, you may well be asking, is going to be happening at our churches? Um, well, the first thing to tell you is that um, I'm aware that some of you um, will not be ready um, for a service in church. You'll have been shielding, you're still shielding, uh, and you're not really ready to be coming back uh, into a church full of people, um, even under the rules that are described later on. Um, that is fine because I am going to be continuing to put things on YouTube. So it's going to be a both and, not an either or. There will be um, a service in church. So I'm not doing three services like I normally would uh, on a pre-coronavirus Sunday morning. Just the one service, so I'm not going from church to church. Um, but if you're not ready for that, that's fine, because uh, I will be putting something on YouTube in the normal manner. Um, so if you, um, you know, if you're anxious about coming to church and you prefer to stay at home, that is fine. Um, we will be catering for people in that category. However, for those of you who do like the idea of coming to church on Sunday morning, um, I've got a few things to tell you. So let's get on with that. The first thing to tell you is, if you have a mask, please bring it and wear it on Sunday morning. OK, um, as you'll know from the news, things are not back to normal. Um, coronavirus is still around um, and we do need to minimise the risk to everybody. So if you have a mask, um, please bring it and wear it on Sunday morning. That's the first thing. Second thing I've hinted at already, social distancing um, will be continuing. So um, those of you who saw the Prime Minister's speech a week and a half ago, um, Boris Johnson said, if you can stay two metres from people, then you should. So that's what we're going to be aiming for in our service. Me uh, a distance of two metres between everybody um, for the vast majority of the time. As much as possible, really. Um, because of that, certain things will be different. So we won't be passing round a collection bag, for example, or a collection plate. Um, when you arrive at the church, uh, when you enter the church, there will be a plate by the door. Please put your collection into the plate um, if you're going to be doing that. OK, um, then also we will move past the collection plate. Um, there's a table with some hand sanitizer and some wipes on. Um, please, when you arrive, you put your collection in the plate, then um, use the hand sanitizer, um, or if you use a wipe, um, there is a, a waste bin there that you can put your wipe in. Okay. In general terms, try to touch as little as possible. Okay. Uh, I know that's going to be difficult for all of us because we're all used to being in church and touching the back of the pew in front of us or the lectern, um, please try and keep your hands to yourselves um, in church this Sunday. OK, what else have I got to tell you? Sitting down. When you have put your collection in the plate, when you've done your hand sanitizer, please don't linger doing either of those things. Please get on with it 
and move along the bus because there might be people coming along behind you who want to get in. But when you've done your hand sanitizer, please then go and sit down. And a word about where to sit down. Um, in the church, you will see there are some places that have a green tick and an order of service. Sit in one of those. If you've come with someone from your household, fine, you can sit together. But if you're in the habit of sitting with your mates from different houses, you can't sit with them, okay? So sit where there's a green tick and an order of service but you can only sit with people who are from your house, who live in the same house that you live in. Okay. Um, do not sit where you see a red cross. Where you see a red cross, those seats are not available for sitting in, and if you sit in them, I will chuck you out of them. Okay. Um, and I'm saying that with a smile on my face, but I do mean it. Um, we have to social distance we have to do this responsibly please be thoughtful and considerate um, to the other people within the church okay so that's where to sit once you are sat down in church please stay in your seat um, unless i tell you to do otherwise okay so please stay in your seat. <clears throat> in terms of the service, I've already shown you there is an order of service. Um, there will be music, but there will not be any singing. All right. We are not allowed to um, be um, projecting our voices. Um, so I'm going to be using microphones. Um, and um, yes, uh, there won't be any singing, but there will be music. At the end of the service, at the end of the service, obviously there's not going to be any refreshments. Um, at the end of the service, instead of chatting with your mates, um, please, would you socially distance, keep two meters from everybody else, Please do not stop in the aisle of the church or at the back of the church when you leave, when you get up from your seat in church, please get up and walk out of the church. Once you are in the car park, if you want to have a chat with your mates there at a distance of two metres, that's up to you. But please do not chat in church and particularly please do not stand in the aisle blocking the aisle um, please don't do that okay um, now then I don't think there's anything else vital um, that I need to tell you um, so yeah um, we are fairly limited on numbers it's probably going to be um, the first 30 um, through the door who will get seats um, and the service will be here's the crucial piece of information at 10 a.m. 10 o'clock at Bransburton so 10 o'clock at Bransburton is where the service will be this Sunday if you want to come along you'll be very welcome but please do bear in mind all the things that I have just told you okay I did mention that I was going to tell a funny story but I think I'm going to save that okay because I don't want to lighten the seriousness um, of the instructions I've been giving you just now okay so I have got a good story, but I'm going to save it for another occasion. I know you're disappointed, but uh, possibly um, if you come along on Sunday or alternatively, if you watch the content I'm going to post on YouTube 
on Sunday. Hopefully that will make up for things. Gotta live in hope, haven't you? Alright, that is it for now. One way or another, I will see you on Sunday. Take care. God bless you.